East Anders Tams in Althwaite stuns as Mel Owen emerges topless from shower. Since Tams and Althwaite returned to the East Anders cast, drama hasn't been far away from her. Tonight's episode should have been different though, as her character Mel Owen was getting ready to reopen the club. On Tuesday's episode, she revealed that the club, formerly known as R&R, would be called The Phoenix. Before the big reveal, viewers got an eyeful when Mel rushed downstairs, still soaking from the shower, dressed in nothing but a towel. Soon enough, Jack Browning, Scott Maslin, turned up to offer his help with the club if Mel needed it but Hunter, Charlie Winter, stepped in. Let the Phoenix rise. Mel Owen he has been noticing the bond forming between his mum and Jack and is keen to stop any potential romance in its tracks. Mel walked off to go and get ready for the big reveal and said, let the phoenix rise. Watching her strut her stuff and much to Hunter's disgust Jack had it, you can say that again. At the club, Mel was excited and instructed Billy Mitchell, Perry Fennick, to get ready with his camera. But when the cloth was pulled off the sign, Mel was fuming at seeing that Hunter had changed the name back to E20. That was the name of the club when his dad Steve Owen owned it, back in 1998, before it became Angie's Den, Scarlet and then R&R. Mel was fuming that Hunter had gone behind her back with the club but soon came around to his way of thinking. She raised a toast to Steve, as it was also the anniversary of his death, and told her son she had a surprise. They went outside and it was revealed that Mel had kept E20 as the name, with the neon sign shining brightly in the dark. But will the second coming of E20 be as scandalous and dangerous as the first? East Enders airs Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays on BBC One.